Hello there, my name is Tom Crandall from Gear Mashers and today we're taking a look at a really cool shoe by a really cool company. The company's name is Giro. The shoe is called the Sintre. So what makes this shoe a bit different than a lot of uh, cycling shoes that you see on the market is something called Tech Lace. This is something that Giro uh, created and so they have their patent on it. And so what it involves is you have regular sh shoelace but you have the, a Velcro attachment and you have Velcro on the side of the shoe. So what happens is when you want to tighten it down you simply just put it over and then that tightens it down for you. And this particular shoe has two of those, and they also have a, a BOA a closure system as well. Um, they're super easy to get in and super easy to get off. So you just do this, take it off, and then undo the BOA, and it opens up really wide. It almost sort of reminds me of a triathlon shoe, uh, just so how easy it is to get in and out of. Uh, really like it. Now, after riding with these, I did, find that there was a few issues I had. Uh, so the first issue is th these shoes seem to run a little hot. Um, they do have some airflow that comes in through the top and they only have one uh, channel on the bottom. So for example with these Pearl Azumis that I, I feel um, run a lot cooler, um, these are the Pro Leader 4 and they have vents pretty much all along here. It's hard to see but there's vents all along the top here. You have a vent on the tongue, and then you have two vents on the bottom. And they just feel like I get a little more airflow than these do. Um, also have the Physique. This is an older model. This is the R1B. And again, you can see that it has lots of holes cut out, so you have a lot of airflow. And then on the bottom, there's a bunch of different places that have channels. Uh, so even though these are pretty much all leather, uh, I think they still run cooler than these. Um, the other thing that I, I found is the toe box with these shoes is a little wider than most of the other cycling shoes I've used. And so you do have a little bit extra room in there, which can be good for people that have a, a wider uh, toe area. Um, the other thing I found is the laces that come with the shoe. They have different sizes and so um, the laces that came with it um, I, f I feel are a little big I because in order to really crank it down you can see this thing sort of sticks out and so I, I wasn't quite sure if maybe I got a smaller lace um, it wouldn't stick out as much but as far as ease of use these are super easy um, on the bottom they have the Easton EC 70 uh, which is a pretty good carbon sole when you go up uh, as far as uh, more expensive shoes in the Giro line, they go with an EC90. That's the next step up and that's $350. And then at the top end, what they've done is they've removed the BOA and then they just have these tech laces. So they have three tech laces on their top end model. Um, and it's a sick light model too. So for a 42.5 uh, shoe, it's running about 150 grams. So a set of that's about 300 grams, which is really light. Uh, this one runs about 240-ish uh, uh, grams per shoe. So you can imagine uh, the other one's a lot lighter than this. Um, the carbon sole on, on the higher end models is a little stiffer, but you, you probably wouldn't notice it that much. Uh, one cool uh, aspect of this is the heel is uh, removable, so you can replace it. Um, some of the shoes don't have that, like this uh, Pearl Izumi one, you can't, re oh, I don't think you, you might be able to replace the heel on this one and the Physique, you can replace it as well. Now with the Physique one, one, one thing that I didn't really like about that, whereas this one is sort of a, a little bit of a nicer rubber, this one was hard plastic, so sometimes you could slide, which could be a problem for some. The other uh, neat feature in these uh, Giros is they have the, the shoe inserts, but they have this removable arch, and the shoes are supposed to come with three different arches, so depending on 
the, your preference. They have like a, a light, medium, hard, or it's got a little bit more arch to it. Um, this one happens to be a medium. Um, and it just so happened that the box I had these in didn't have the other arches that were supposed to go with this. Um, but I thought it was pretty cool. I hadn't seen that with other shoe systems where you can sort of customize it. Um, and so they have on the bottom here, they have Velcro. And so you just place it on there. So it's really easy. Um, but usually like with the arch systems, they're all pretty good. But I thought this one was a little bit, they thought a little bit more about it. Um, again, so on the plus side with this shoe, obviously, you know, it's super easy to get out. So the difference, I, I think like with some of these shoes, so with physique, you have everything on the side. And what's interesting about this one is the, everything goes over to the left. So you have this big tongue that wraps over and that sort of holds your foot in place. And I think it does a really good job. And then with Pearl Izumi, what they've done is they've actually put the boas on top of the foot itself. And uh, I've had other shoes that do that. And sometimes you can get hot spots on the top. But with the Pearl Izumi, they've added just enough padding so you don't get that hot spot. Um, with these, I didn't feel any hot spots at all. I think the lace system is pretty cool. And it is really, really light. Now, from an arrow standpoint, I, you know, these things can sort of stick out depending on how you have them placed. Um, so it, it just doesn't seem to me as to be as arrow as say like the Pearl Izumi. Um, but I, I doubt that it's going to make that much difference. But again, I thought these did run a little bit hot. Um, so that's just sort of how it is. But so these retail for $250. So this is again, these are the Sintrays. And then the next step up from these, and they look sort of similar, is the Factor. So the Factor has uh, a boa as well, and it has the two tech laces. And then going up from that to the $400 range, there's the Pro Light uh, by Giro, and that has the three tech laces. So if you haven't tried these out, um, they're definitely worth giving a try, just because the lacing system's rather interesting and it it does make it super easy to get in and out of these so check them out also check out my website gearmasters.com so if you got any comments or anything please uh leave them there and also please subscribe to the channel uh that helps me get products like this in so thank you so much have a great day